Today we ask the age-old question. Will it eggnog? Let's talk about that. Good Mythical Morning! Thank you for making us a part of your daily routine, and welcome to the last episode of Season 8 for Good Mythical Morning. We will see you at the very beginning of Season 9, January 11th, 2016, a whole other year! Woo! Merry Christmas, everybody! Mythical Beasts! Woo! Merriest of Christmas to you. Now, listen, you have opened your gifts, you've uh, searched all the way to the bottom of that Maybe. stocking, turned it over, and make sure there's not one little thing hidden down in there that you're gonna find next year. You gotta make sure you get it now. You've done that. A chestnut. And so now it comes to the most important part of Christmas, the thing that everybody looks forward to, eggnog. That's right, and you know that we like to ask if things will on this show, and today we're going to ask that question. Will, will it eggnog? Okay, so the typical ingredients of eggnog are eggs, sugar, vanilla extract, nutmeg, mm -hmm. and milk. Mm -hmm. But everybody can't have milk. Some people ain't tolerant for it. And some people can have it, but they're always out. Yes, and so that's what we're gonna do today is we're going to replace the milk in eggnog, because that'll still be eggnog. We're gonna put the, something else in that nog part of it. Mm -hmm. Now, here's the thing with eggnog. It usually has booze in it, so kids can't enjoy it, but booze. there's one thing that kids can enjoy. Soda pop. Soda pop. Will it eggnog? Okay, we have some Rhett and Link Value Plus Select Soda Pop. Not yeah. for sale, this is just for our own personal enjoyment. And I have a blender here with all of the other ingredients already pulled at the bottom, including a raw but pasteurized egg. Tip that a little bit so I can count for the fizziness. The thing I like about this is the fact that it's got some fizziness. I like see the level. Hold effervescence. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's the 12 right there. All right, so I'm gonna blend this up. Please do. Oh! oh. <laughs> Dude, I'm sorry. I swear it was on there. Oh, yeah. Look, I don't know why it came off. I mean, it just wasn't on there. All right, here we go. I'm sorry, man. Just come back. It's, it's done. How did you manage to get absolutely none on yourself? I, I am sorry. I, I did not do that on purpose. So you've got a cup here, and we're going to pour this in each of, our, each of our cups. Let me give a little pour. Ooh, it is effervescent. It smells like a, a float at this point. It's not nearly as thick as it would be if it was milk. Okay, let's move this out. Mm. Let's give it a taste. Mm. Wow, it's weird. It tastes like... It tastes like a melted down float. Like, like a Coke float, not a root beer float, but a Coke float that had ice cream in it and then you left it out and then it was like you came in later that day and you were like, maybe I'll keep trying. It's not bad. I would say it's interesting. I kind of feel like it's as good as regular eggnog. It's, it's Which is kind of just a tolerable thing for me. Yeah, but you might be into it. It's definitely worth trying, Mythical Beast, so. And it'll keep you up. <clears throat> Will it eggnog? Yes. yes. Sometimes you make yourself a glass of eggnog and you think, you know what, I'd like this to stay good for over a year. <laughs> One way to do that, pickle juice, pickle juice. Will, Will it eggnog? eggnog? Okay, the only way I know to get pickle juice is to get pickles. All right, so just pour that juice right in here. Ooh, that's not gonna be fabulous. All right, and uh, thanks for continuing to trust me with this. Oh, I'm not trusting, I'm moving while you do that. All right, see, it popped. It's definitely on there. It's, see? Okay. All it's right. good, it's good. All right, so let's blendy blend. Make it nog. Oh, it's getting fluffy in there. And then, ooh. Hmm. It's pickly. I love pickles. There's always a pickle jar in my fridge, and when I finish the last pickle, I drink the pickle juice. You do? Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Just take a little garnish. A little garnish. Here you go, right? It's actually pretty liquefied. It's just coming through a small hole, so it's glug glugging. All right. Dill nog. Dill nog. <laughs> Put your finger on the pickle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wow. Wow. That's. It's just a creamy pickle juice. Again, ah. it's not bad. It does have a bite to it. Woo! And I do think it would stay good for a long time. This is actually better than drinking straight pickle juice. Yeah, the egg, eggs and the nutmeg really bring something out. Well, will it eggnog? 
Yes. yes. The one hang up I have about eggnog is that it's so thick and tasty, but it's also, it's, it's very, it makes you sluggish. It's like, rich. It, it's rich, it slogs around yeah. in there. Slogs. So what if we could create a version of eggnog that puts you in sports mode? I'm talking about adding blue sports drink. Sports drink. Will, Will it eggnog? eggnog? Sometimes a pickup basketball game can break out at a Christmas get together. Right. I think that what we're about to create is for that moment. You're sipping on a little sports nog. Sports a raid. Sports a raid. Egg a raid. That's what we're raid. Egg a raid. Whatever we call it is for that moment <laughs> when you get called into the big game with your uncle. Post up. I love to play big games with my uncle. <laughs> All right, here we go. Bodybuilders, they add eggs to protein shakes. It's like we're adding protein to a sport drink. <laughs> All right, so uh, I'm gonna pour you first, brother. That is a nice color. It That's is, a holiday it look, color. It, it is, it looks minty. That is a much mm. more of a holiday color than actual eggnog. It's, it's got a strong sports drink smell. The blue flavor. Eggerade. <laughs> Go for it. It's so weird the equalizing effect it's like that candy. eggs has on everything. It tastes like creamy, liquefied taffy. But you know how hard you hit a Gatorade at the end of a pickup basketball game? I have one of these. <laughs> I haven't played basketball. You just inhale it. Since but I was you, seven years old. But you know old. how you drink a Gatorade. It's at least half the bottle, so we just gotta chug it. But think about all the other stuff we're about to drink and if this comes back up because we chugged it. Hey, do you wanna be a scientist or not? We do this so you don't have to. Three, two, it ain't that much to chug. <laughs> one. That wasn't as good. No, when you no that one no no no, no, no. it wasn't that wasn't as good as just regular sports drinks. But I, I let me argue for a second. No, don't. It was better than the last thing we had. No, pickle juice is a sipping thing, and you know it going in. Nobody chugs pickle. juice. So this juice. is not chuggable. And I think if you make sports drink non-chuggable, it loses. Will it eggnog? No. Mm. Okay, no. Now one of the knocks that eggnog gets is that it has a lot of calories in yeah. it. You know, it'll fatten you up. So mm -hmm. we thought, why not add bacon? <laughs> <laughs> well, we didn't want to add bacon because we wanted to keep it liquid. So why not bacon grease? Bacon grease. Will, Will it eggnog? Egg well, we've got some of that right here. That is a lot of bacon grease. No garnish, no bacon garnish. You ate it all. Oh no, it's all good. Okay. This could be tricky to pour. So just set it out there a little bit from yourself. Okay. And I'm gonna do it so the people can see. Look at that. This is wrong headed. Looks like a tar pit. It smells good. It smells oh, really good. I bet it does. Mm. See if you can froth it up for us, Link. Oh, look what happened to it. There's still a grease pond on top. I'm getting that down in there. <laughs> All right, so, uh, here, let me. The grease is already trying to separate. Oh, oh, get a, get, just smell it. It smells like a dog that's sick. Like no, dog vomit? It smells like bad dog breath. Rancid dog breath. I'm trying to remain positive because this is a mental war we're in, Rhett. Call this one, hog nog. <laughs> you just redeemed it. <laughs> it's gritty. It changes in the mouth. If you chew it? It tastes like a, it does taste like a byproduct though. Oh. You beginning to feel it? My stomach just turned a little. It's like, Your you lips know. are really shiny right now though. <laughs> Will it eggnog? No. One of the questions that I ask myself during the holiday season is how can I get more cheese into my body? <laughs> cheese. Will, Will it eggnog? eggnog? Well, I got some. <clears throat> of course it you can. Do. The pour over anything sauce. Well, let's pour it over some eggs in that blender you it's got nutmeg. There. It's kind of thick. That's good. Ooh, okay, stop. Yeah, let's not go too heavy on the cheese so we can get like an, mm. an actual mix here. Boy, that does smell so good. Here we go. Oh, look at that, Ooh. the little mountains, little cheese mountains. I wanna be in there surfing. <laughs> wow, nice pull away. How do you feel about this? I think it's gonna taste like cheese. Okay. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It is very frothy and 
Mm, got a lot of air in it. It's Christmas time, little baby. This could be a hit. You could you could pour this over tortilla chips. It's just like, hey, and when you, like around the fall season, you put pumpkin spice on things. I highly recommend serving this over tortilla. Oh gosh. <laughs> Oh it's, oh, it's very reminiscent of something. I think it's lunchroom vomit. <laughs> All right, what do we call this one? Nacho nog? Nacho nog. That's Na a good one. Nacho normal nog. <laughs> this is nacho nog. This is our nog. <laughs> oh, gosh. Mm. Mm. Mm mm. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. That did not mix well. Wow. How uh, come that was so bad? <laughs> Seriously, because the cheese by itself seems good, right? Like yeah. I'd like to get in that. Yeah. <laughs> but it's just so bad. Uh, We've achieved something here today. Yeah, we, we learned something. You never knew that was coming, did you? Uh, Will it eggnog? Uh -uh. No. <laughs> Maybe you're having a non-traditional Christmas celebration this year and you invited some vampires. And with them in mind, we decided to serve up some eggnog with blood. Blood. Will, Will it eggnog? eggnog? Oh gosh, I don't want to even look over there, man. You know, liver is the thing that I hate the most, but then when I found out the reason I hated liver was because there was blood in it, I realized that blood is the thing that I hate the most. Oh uh, gosh. It looks like shredded chocolate. Let's just say that's what it is. Okay, dude, put it in there. <laughs> It's sh it's shaved. <laughs> I'm about to vomit just spooning it uh, two feet away from my face. Just got a whiff of it. Okay. Oh gosh, guys. No. 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 Why did we do this? Why did we do this? Don't need to take your iron pill today. I think the blender's burning up. Oh, really? Yeah, something's really starting to smell. I think it's the blood. Here. Ah, uh, berry smoothie. Oh, no. <laughs> Why did you put it all in mine? Oh, whoops, there's none left. Sorry. I guess you're just gonna have to tell me what it what it's like. Split it, man. There are a few things in this world that make me feel like a little boy again. Facing down a pint of blood is one of them. Oh gosh. Oh, it's wafting out. Oh God. I don't know if I can do this. Let's not stall anymore. Let's drink this blood nog. Drink it. And drink it. Did you not drink it? Oh, oh, oh the aftertaste. Oh. Oh. oh, did you not drink it? No. What? I drink it! <laughs> drink it! <laughs> Swish it around, taste it. You gotta actually taste it. Do it, do it. <laughs> Every time I breathe out of my mouth, I can taste like dead dog. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, uh, I hate myself. It's been a great season, we want to thank all of you. We invite you to st stick around for Good Mythical More, but for right now we want to say thanks for liking, commenting, sharing this video with all of your loved ones. They need to know about this stuff. You know what time it is. We're the Hilton family from North Carolina, and it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. You've got Christmas money, we've got merchandise, including the Good Mythical Morning t-shirt, Good Mythical Morning, Hoodie! Red Link Bobbleheads! Mythical Hats! Peculiarly Perfect Peanut Butter Peppermint Lip Balm and some Beard Oil! Click through to Good Mythical More where we are gonna get the crew to drink all the nog that we make because we got leftovers, y'all. Oh Click on through. Link accuses Rhett of stealing his beard. Hey, 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 What's that, man? It's not your beard. I can see the why you're the way you're looking at me. Well then, whose beard is it? Your mom's. Ooh, what you been drinking, man? Blood. It's like sweet cheese. Yeah. <laughs>
Don't say that. <laughs> it's like sweet it's like cheese. cheese. <laughs> sweet cheese.